Well, hello everyone, it's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys another reading. So today's topic is karmic justice and the theme, I know I was unfair to you. So this is the setup. This is going to be about a soul connection that you still feel with another person, even though that things have went silent and cold. And there was obviously a falling out with this individual because of something that went down in your connection. So of course, we're gonna be taking a look at some of that karma, a lot of the realizations that this person has had when you guys have been in this no contact state but at the end of the day just take what resonates for you you guys and get rid of anything that doesn't all the decks as well as this beautiful organite right here will be listed in the description box down below so let's dive right in and see what we need to know about your situation with this person so what we have going on here is I really want to take a look at the energy. So let's take a look at the energy of the past. So it's going to be the details of what went down in the past with this person. But what was your original connection? Why did you meet this person? So I just received this deck from Aqua Moonlight. This is the Dreams of Love Oracle. So I'm very excited to use this deck today to see why you met this person when you did. What was the reasoning for the connection? Why did you meet them? And what went down? Let's take a look. What went down with this person from the past? Why did you meet them? We have colliding paths, okay? So this is saying here, the universe is steering the course of this connection. You may not understand how this relationship will work, but a divine plan is in motion. Both parties must let go of control and let the wind carry, okay? So obviously your paths, they collided for a specific reason, okay? And this particular energy may have been confusing to the both of you. You weren't really um, understanding perhaps at the time where it was going to go, but there was this feeling of fate or destiny that was connected to the meeting each other initially. All right, let's go into my Cosmic Contracts Oracle and see what else was, was uh, present when the two of you collided. Mm. We have inner voice. I will inspire you to speak your truth. So this can sometimes become problematic, especially if there is a person that is struggling to be their true authentic self. Maybe they're not very good at communication. And so there could be one of you that was really good at communicating how you felt, what you were thinking, your needs, etc. And the other person may have, you know, really you were inspiring them to want to be that type of person but maybe they were finding it very difficult to be that. So we're gonna go into the masculine energy of your connection and just basically see what this masculine was feeling upon your uh, meeting, all right? Why you were meant to come into his world. All right, so this is my divine masculine tarot. Let's see where this masculine was at. Hmm. So we have the four pentacles. There's something that he hadn't let go of. That's what I'm picking up on here. The four of pentacles is a card where we're really struggling. We're, we're, we're um, holding on to something. We're hoarding something. And in this case, I feel like this masculine was afraid to speak his truth to you, the viewer. Um, holding on to something. Something was really bothering him and getting him down. It's like, I can't let you in. You know, I can't, I don't want to let you go, but I, I can't let you in either. So it's this very, uh, it's just a very controlled energy. Uh, there's a lot of tension in this energy here. So it's like the whole, not the whole reason, but one of the reasons that you guys came into each other's lives is for this masculine to open up. But when he was presented with this opening up or going deeper, he found it very difficult to, to be truthful and honest with how he was feeling or maybe even truthful finding it difficult to be truthful and honest with how he's feeling towards you when you were telling him how you felt, etc. So I feel like there's a shutdown or a wall that was placed. Let's go ahead and get your energy with my Divine Feminine Tarot. Mm. With the star, I feel like you were ready to go. Uh, the stars collide, your worlds collided, the stars aligned, you felt it. 
I do feel feminine that um, you were, you were on a path where you had already done a lot of healing and it doesn't mean you were completely 100% ready or that you were um, didn't have any issues coming into this connection, but I definitely feel with the, with the energy here, this masculine is in the four of pentacles, you are in that major energy, the major arcana. So you were in a very empowered energy with the star. You were very connected to yourself, your higher self, the divine. So when you felt this connection, it, it really, you, you, you like felt it and you may have even had like a spiritual awakening here when you met this person. And maybe in some sort of way, you were afraid of being your true authentic self as well. That could have been the case too. You didn't want to let this person go. You didn't want to lose them. So maybe perhaps there was something where you were downplaying your feelings or your needs in order to uh, keep this person because you were afraid if you pushed too hard, you were going to lose them. You could have sensed this on some sort of level. So it says healing my wounded heart. This person could have wounded you. Whatever wounds you had previously could have been triggered by this person. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. So the reason that you guys would come together, obviously, are for healing and ascension purposes, of course, but there's more to it than that. So let's go ahead and continue. We have the light, lightning portal. It says, neither of you were prepared for this meeting. Oh my gosh, look at this. And it hit you like a ton of bricks. Your paths may cross again when you are least expecting it. This connection is highly unpredictable. Wow. So uh, your worlds collide, you come together, it hits you like a strike a strike of lightning. I definitely am getting here um, awakening energy. I'm getting tower moments as well when this person comes into your life, a major uh, restructuring of the self, the mind, the heart, the soul, everything. So I feel like there's a spiritual awakening, especially on your part, Divine Feminine. And this masculine, I feel, was putting up a wall and was not completely letting you in. So he was unable to really participate with the contract completely. But it does say neither of you were actually prepared. You may have felt more prepared than this masculine, but neither one of you were prepared to enter into a successful union together. All right, let's see what else. Oof, we have that passion energy here though. And that to me is that lightning bolt. <laughs> so I feel like that was completely evident. I feel like other things were evident too, but this was the one area where this masculine could let you in. He could connect with you in a physical way. But when it came to going deeper into this connection, that's where I feel like he had a hard time letting go, letting himself go. He couldn't let himself go there. That's what I'm seeing here with that, okay? But in a physical way, it was like it was there. But it was also unpredictable, hot and cold, you know, burst of passion, burst of energy. Okay, we do have the Six of Cups. So I feel like the Six of Cups is some is like an energy here of the past. I do feel like you and this individual shared some sort of past life connection with one another, or there was some kind of past life karma that you were clearing in this lifetime. A wound from the past was being cleared. I am getting that. But the Six of Cups to me, it's like, Thinking of you, I feel connected to you. The Six of Cups to me is like soulmate energy. It's like we feel familiar. We feel at home with this person. But in a way, it's like karmic soulmate. And I'm not labeling this connection, by the way. I'm just using different descriptions of this energy that's coming to me. Um, so it's like, it's something where you meet someone, you know that you're tied to them. You know that there's a familiar feeling with them, you know that there's a sense of home, but that doesn't mean that it's smooth sailing and that everything is going to be perfect. I do feel like there's some kind of past energy that was holding this particular masculine back. Childhood stuff or just even a past trauma or situation with another person could have been holding this masculine back. He was afraid of repeating this pattern. He, it's like, I'm, I'm only thinking of you. I've hurt other people before. I always disappoint other people. So I'm thinking of you when I disconnect from you. So that's what I'm getting from your person. It's like, what I, whatever they did, it's like they actually had you in mind at the end of the day because they didn't want to hurt you, but they ended up hurting you anyway. So it just, it's, it's just very difficult. Ooh, wrong deck. So let's see what your energy was here. I feel like I'll never forget you. 
Uh, you were eager to go for this page of wands. You were excited. You were eager to go for it. But this masculine was too weighed down by his past. And that really created a block in this connection to where he was afraid he couldn't really move forward. He was afraid to, maybe in past connections, he was authentically himself and he got shot down or he got hurt anyways, or he was uh, deceived in some way. So this is just a, a fear of even moving forward now because of the way things have gone in the past. So um, I feel like this masculine has never forgotten you though. He still thinks of you to this day and um, he just, just wasn't ready. I mean, I mean, neither one of you really were ready. So let's see what else. We have tugging hearts and enter knowing about this connection exists a force so strong. It denies all logic. It said or defies all uh, denies all logic. Follow your heart on this one for their name is calling you for a reason. Yeah. Wow. I feel like you guys will never truly forget about each other. This connection will always tug at your heartstrings. It's I'm getting the feeling, the love, the, the love of my life, the one that got away, the one this your masculine feels this way about you feminine now it was only after the fact though. Um, I feel like it may have been difficult to let you go, but this masculine may have felt like that was the best outcome at the time. But now in retrospect, it's like this is still tugging at his heartstrings. I do feel though, you guys, that this, whatever he did, it hurt him to hurt you. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I just have to say it. That's what I'm getting here. It hurt. It hurt him more than you realized. Mm -hmm. Look at that rejection. I will help you love yourself more. Wow. Thinking of you. This is very interesting to me. It's very deep. I'm not going to go too, too into it, but it's almost like you and this masculine share a very special connection together and him rejecting you is because he's rejecting himself. But there's also this higher self-awareness that by rejecting you, what that's going to do is it is going to trigger your wounds and where you need to heal in your heart, divine feminine. Do you see this? So it's, I'm not trying to say, oh, he's doing you a favor, but in some sort of way, it's like, this is an experience and it is an experiment to work on the self and to heal and to clear these wounds from the past. So self-love was an issue here. And we didn't love ourselves enough to show up for our person, or we didn't love ourselves enough to consider our own needs. So we accepted crumbs or we accepted just crappy behavior, whatever it was. But I feel like at the end of the day, this particular masculine could not deal with rejection. So he sabotaged things first. See, look at this eight of swords. The eight of swords energy is something that needs to clear from the mind. It's a thought that we're trapped in. It's a narrative that we keep telling ourselves. It's a negative belief system that comes from somewhere in our family line, in our history. And this was ruling your masculine's mind at the time. So he couldn't get this out of his head. He couldn't get this energy out. Something was tugging at him and he didn't know what it was. And so to me, this uncomfortable feeling in a way turned into, you must be the uncomfortable thing. So I have to, I have to let you go. I can't handle this feeling. So not to say you were the problem, but this masculine may have convinced himself that he would be better off on his own or that you would be better off without him. I'm really terrible at connections or love or whatever. Okay. But that lightning portal. So we have the lightning coming through that window. I just feel like there was going to be a realization, but it would be much later after the fact, after this had already been gone, done and gone. So this masculine never forgot you feminine, even though you guys disconnected from one another. Let's get your energy. Yeah, look at that. You wanted to invest. See, I'm eager to experiment. I am eager to just invest in a future with you. So you know what I'm getting here? The song China from Tori Amos. I will try to remember to put it down. Actually, I'm gonna make a little note to myself here. China song, okay? Because that is depicting your connection with this masculine for me with what I'm tapping into and what I'm seeing here. I saw a future together, but you just walked away or, you know, faded away in the distance. So this to me is somebody who's distancing themselves from this connection. Okay. 
and it really tugged at their heart to do this to let you go but it's like they know they know no other way because they have so many issues the teddy bear always reminds me of childhood so you know we all have issues but this person had a lot of trauma or a lot of issues with rejection in childhood and so they could perhaps be an avoidant now or there might be some sort of coping mechanisms that aren't the healthiest and they know it so they sabotage things because they feel unlovable that's what we have so that's the details of what went down with this person on kind of like a deep psychological level so let's see what karmic experience has have they had since your connection separated what have they experienced you know, what, what have they felt about this, this separation with you? This is also a new deck by Aqua Moonlight called Wicked Desires Oracle. I just got it. Okay. What has this particular masculine gone through since your separation? What kind of karmic experiences has he experienced? Mmm, cold touch. Okay. What I'm getting here is that this masculine just wrote himself off to be a person that was just cold hearted. I'm getting cold hearted snake and <laughs> look into his eyes. You know, that's all, that whole thing. It's almost like having a reputation of I'm just a cold hearted prick. Uh huh. I'm cold to the touch. I'm dead inside. So he accepts this as his fate. He accepts that this is just who he is. He convinces himself that this is just who I am. All right, let's see what else. This is my karma's a bitch oracle. Mm, I'm just a loser. Yeah, I just suck. Basically, I suck at love. I suck at intimacy. I suck at life. It's for everyone else, but it's just not for me. So here I am, you know, I've just uh, kind of lost myself again. But uh, that that right there is, is just a very lonely place is what I'm getting here. It's a very, very lonely place. It's almost like being frustrated with yourself that you can't allow yourself to feel, that you cannot allow yourself to warm up. So it's a part of this masculine's, you know, karma or his experiences after you guys separated for him to feel this, uh, I feel like rock bottom energy. This is my tells from the dark oracle. Let's see what else. Soaked in blood. So it's just talking about the past, the past crimes, right? being prosecuted for past crimes, injustices that this, this particular masculine has, um, you know, performed, I guess, towards you and other people, just really beating himself up. So that's the karma right there. The karma right there is experiencing pain from being a cold hearted prick, being somebody that feels like they can't actually uh, provide happiness for others. They, they, they can't make others happy. They can only really rely on themselves. Also, too, there could have been something where it was just like the evidence was too great. So there was nothing that they could do to excuse their behavior or explain it. So they may have just walked away from you because they just felt like a total loser. That's what I'm getting here. Yep. Up in flames. Like I, I burned this. I burned this to the ground. Any future that we had. Any, any um, opportunity that maybe we would have to still be friends, I sabotaged that. I incinerated it. I burned it up. But to me, this is a self-sabotaging technique so where we don't have to either um, look back or feel things that are connected to our cold-hearted behavior. But um, we can clearly see that this masculine still thinks about you and that he hasn't forgotten about you. So I think I said this the other day in the masculine reading. It's like the joke's on him. So it's just, it didn't go anywhere. It's still there. Okay, let's see what else. What else has this masculine experienced in your separation with one another? Drink the poison. Mm -hmm. It says a tempting invitation leads to heartbreak. I do feel like this particular masculine, um, you know, he, instead of shutting down completely, he may have gone into another situation thinking that perhaps it would be different. Maybe he had hopes. Maybe he had convinced himself that you weren't the one for him. And so he thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side and went in that, into that direction. And I'm just getting here. It didn't work out because it led to more heartbreak. Either he broke that person's heart or perhaps maybe he even was broken hearted. But I just feel like this particular masculine puts his heart on ice. So I think he's the one that's doing the hurting. But we do have remorse, feeling the bitter pain. Oh, you know what I just got? From, I don't, I think it's uh, the third. I don't know. It's the Lord of the Rings where Arwen, you know, the 
fairy girl, uh, Liv Tyler. Her father is basically telling her that if she chooses to live this life, and I'm, I'm sorry guys, I'm not like a huge like Lord of the per Rings person, but I forget the guy's name, the king. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about though. Um, what ends up happening is he says, you're gonna feel the bitter, the bitterness of something, like the bitter pain. Like he's gonna die and she's immortal, so she's just gonna continue to live. Um, so I don't know why I'm just getting that where it's just so like, oh, it's like, it's so much. It's just that, that realization of pain. You know what I mean? The bitterness, the bittersweetness of that. So yeah. Um, so the karmic experience that your masculine has had is that he has felt remorse over heartbreaks. He has felt remorse over breaking your heart. Maybe even he has finally felt his own heart breaking but we can definitely see that I'm getting here. He's blue. Lots of songs are coming to me by Halsey colors. Um, everything is blue. His hands, his pills, his jeans or his heart or something like that. Like this is just someone who's really, really uh, broken up. Okay. So definitely feel pain. There's, there's feeling some kind of pain, feeling the bitterness of making a mistake. There's karma right there. Cannibal clown. See, not everything that you hunger should you necessarily consume. Shouldn't have drank that. Shouldn't have been tempted. Shouldn't have gone there. Shouldn't have eaten that apple is what I'm getting. So this masculine, it could be that the um, if there was a story in your connection where he accepted an invitation or did something on the side and you found out about it later, uh, this, of course, is the consequences of those actions, which could be that he ended up losing you. So it's like being in pain because he lost you. It's not going to be for everybody. But I just feel like whatever he consumed, whatever he drank, ended up being poisonous and toxic. And so it's that bitter pain of being a fool. Yes, that's what that is. A bitter, bitter pain of feeling like a fool. Like we can't take it back. We wish we could, but we can't take it back. Oh my God. Okay, you guys, I'm telling you, whatever this was, whatever he drank, whatever he consumed, whatever he decided to go with besides you or in addition to you or whatever, that feeling of I took you for granted and I lost you in the meantime, he felt the bitter. I can't think of the freaking line in the movie. I'm going to have to look it up after this. But there's a line in the movie and that is what this masculine felt towards you, feminine. The bitter pain of something. Oh, can't think of it. But there it is. Definitely feeling that pain for sure. That he took you for granted. That he he shot a shot and he lost. And he ended up losing you too in the process. So that's karma right there for him. We have the asylum. Ooh. It, so this to me, it's like almost like driving someone to, to driving someone nutty. Driving somebody to the point where they almost feel like insane, you know, definitely overthinking, definitely in their head, tormented by you. That's another song, I swear. Haunted, yes, thoughts that will never leave. Oh, <laughs> I'm going under by Evanescence. Yeah, lots of songs coming to me. I'm going under. But uh, you're not the one that has created this pain for this masculine. He has created his own pain. So that's it. Wow. Haunted by you. Tormented daily and haunted by you. Or vice versa, however that uh, lyric goes. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I feel like he did try to say goodbye to this. Um, he was exiting your situation and in a way like had his arm already extended into another situation. Sometimes this is called tree tree branching, sometimes avoidance, or sometimes even people that are narcissistic will do this where they're setting up the next situation. That way they don't have to feel the bitter pain of being alone, perhaps. This masculine could have done that, okay? Went, went, went from your situation to the next because it says here preparing for a new departure. So we're already preparing. We're saying goodbye to you, but we're preparing for something else. So this masculine, I do feel, got his karma because he, maybe he thought he was going to be able to just walk away from this scot-free and he was never going to think about you again. And he was wrong. He was wrong. Yep. He was delusional. <laughs> Seven of cups. He was delusional. What he saw at the time, 
I feel like, again, his he had some kind of rose-colored glasses on. He wasn't really in reality with the Seven of Cups. Big dreamer, thought something else might, might have been better. I don't know, but whatever it is, he was wrong, lost and confused, dazed and confused. Definitely didn't work out here. It definitely was a pipe dream. It didn't work out for him. What he thought he wanted, um, whatever, whenever he got it, he realized, holy shit, I made a mistake and actually you know, he's now haunted by what he had with you and realizes that he took you for granted. And then of course lost you in the process. So definitely some major karma there, but uh, we're going to go into some deeper karma um, later. So yeah, let's uh, go ahead and take a look and see um, a little bit more of this karmic experience, like what he has experienced when it comes to just being in the separation, you know, how the separation has affected him. Let's just get some more. get one more round uh serial ghoster it's like you're see you aren't the only one on their mind they've done this to other people too just so you guys know it's not just you um but yeah they're serial they're they're serial offender they've done this to other people this is their um mo this is their thing this is what they do they ghost when things get too tough they're out so yeah that's what I'm I'm seeing here. Also, too, if you ghosted them, as in you've never reached out to them, you've never you've never tried to like contact them or reconnect with them. I do feel like you've actually been on their mind, even when they're with other people, they still think about you. So that's a part of their karma too, is to think about you, even though they may have moved on in other situations. Yeah, that's interesting. Hitchhiker. A good deed that turns out disastrously. See, something that they thought, something good that they thought that they were going to go towards, it ended disastrously. Something was shattered. Um, their, remember it said optical illusion? It's like whatever they thought they saw, it didn't turn out to be accurate. It was not an accurate depiction of, of what they were actually wanting or looking for. So they were wrong. They, they felt like foolish, a total fool in the end. They let someone into their life and I just feel like it just ended up, um, it just ended up not being what they wanted. Now the zombie energy can sometimes be just going with the motions, just being mechanical, right? And just kind of like, oh, I just, I don't feel it. I do feel like your person, when they entered into this other connection, it did not feel exactly the same that it felt with you. It might have been exciting or something in the very beginning, just because like they were feeling some sort of relief. But I just feel like at the end of the day, they really didn't break free from their old habits. They didn't really break free. They hadn't changed. And this person wasn't like you. So in a way, it was like, it was kind of mechanical at the, at the very end, like, your person, I feel, longs for deep connection, but they don't know how to sustain it. They don't know how to um, to keep it or to treat it well, but they want it. They dream of it, but they don't know how to keep it going. And so I feel like they always end up at this point where it's just mechanical. And when it gets to that point where it's mechanical, then they're going to be out and they're going to ghost again. They're going to walk away from this. They're going to shatter somebody's dreams. And it's going to, of course, turn out disastrously. I do feel like your person actually is, they, they were not in touch with who they were back then to understand that this particular style of whatever it's an attachment or just wound, whatever it is, that this is creating a lot of pain for a lot of people because it says a good deed. They really went in with good intentions. And I do feel like they actually went in with good intentions with you. They didn't go into your situation like, okay, yeah, I'm planning on just using you for everything that you have. And then I'm going to be out of here and I'm going to break your heart in the process out the door. I don't really feel like your person is um, that, that evil. They could have just been unaware. They really, really believed in the beginning that, wow, you're the one. And so they, maybe just, you know, went, went in and, and then when it started to get too much or they started to get triggered, then they started to pull back. So I just feel like everything is going, eventually ends up in this mechanical position for this person. And they're just like, wow, it's just a, a, another day, same shit, same day. And so they're finding this like serial lifestyle where everything just ends up the same disastrously. overpowered by their their issues nine of wands 
That's their defense mechanism. This is the wall that they built up around themselves. They've been doing it for a very long time. But I do like to see the nine though, because the next card will be the 10 and the 10 is the completion of that cycle. So I do feel like they obviously went into other situations or connections to learn a thing or two about themselves. They couldn't learn all of this with you guys, just like you couldn't learn everything you needed to learn with them. Maybe even perhaps you've had other experiences that are helping you to ascend and to heal in your own personal life. This person is experiencing the same or has experienced um, other situations where, you know, they've had to to deal with this wall. They've had to deal with their feelings. You can see here there's chains. This is about breaking the chains that bind you. So this person I feel is um, either on their way or this is still in process. So that's what we have so far, you guys. So we're going to go ahead and shift over onto the extended. And this is what we're going to go into over there. We're going to see what did this person uh, why did this person do what they did to you? I mean, we kind of already went into why they may have done that, but we're going to really dive deep into what happened, the details of why they did what they did, why they said what they said, why they acted the way that they acted. We're also going to go into what major, so really major heavy duty karma that they have suffered that's directly related to you. Some of this karma that they experienced could just be karma from other people. You know, things that they've learned along the way and how it made them feel about your separation. But we're really gonna see, get down into the nitty gritty of how or what specific karma is directly related to you to where they had an aha moment and realized, holy shit, what did I do? Then we're gonna see what does this person feel most bad about when it comes to you and how they feel about you today, as well as what is the possibility that they will ever apologize to you and give you closure one day. So if you guys would like to join me over there, I will put the link into the extended into the description description box down below, as well as pin it to the top comment section. And um, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely don't forget to give it a thumbs up or a comment or an emoji, give it some love, all that other stuff. It helps to push the um, video out and it just helps the algorithm for me. So thank you guys so much. Hope to see you over on the extended. Take care. Bye-bye.